with everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Today we're back again here in our hardcore world. Still alive, still doing great, and we're in the crypt though. It's kind of scary down here, but you know what? It's okay. I got friends. Um, they've joined me down here. These were actually the villagers that were in the last episode upstairs in the coffin salesman department. And uh, they got down here. They went down the ladder. I couldn't stop them. They just want to be down here. It's great. I don't know why they're attracted to this corner. Maybe they want to head down this direction or something there. I don't know. But they're having fun. I made them into uh, some masons as well. So I can do some trading. And look at this. Oh, baby. So good. I'm going to need all these clay balls. We're going to need a lot of clay coming up. This one, uh, I don't know. I think he really loves to beat up these skeletons for me. Don't you? But before you beat them up, let me get some more trades out of you here real fast. Oh, so good. And then we can use those arrows to get all of these bricks. And while we're here, why not? Oh, that's so good. I almost got 50 levels in this place, but we got a lot of loot. Look at all these bones we have right here. We got a bunch of arrows. We got a bunch of junk. Uh, and oh, some of them uh, pops out, but it's fine. Actually, while I'm over here, give me some more bricks. Thank you. I was thinking of also expanding this direction and making another little spot to this crypt, preferably, I don't know, a, a villager breeder so we can have a breeder here in this side of town. I don't know. I think that might be pretty cool. I gotta prettify this thing. This is pretty ugly. Don't look. And as we come upstairs here in the office section, I did one quick thing. On this side, got another coffin to go down the other section. So I changed this up. There was two offices here and one on each side. We got this little office area here, but this one I made into a little standing coffin. So I can just go ahead and go down from here, which is pretty awesome. Oh, God, help. That was a suggestion in the comment section. You guys are amazing. Oh, and it's nighttime. Oh, let me make a daytime quick. Sleep, 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 sleep. Wait a minute. What happened to my bushy leaves? There they are. And the yellow, too. Crisis averted. But thank you all so much for all the love and support on this series. All the likes we get on every single episode. You guys are intense with the love on this thing. Ever since episode one, we're still going strong and I can't wait to keep it going. The inspiration is flowing here in Spider Canyon, our western inspired town. And guess what? I built something new. Let me show you. Look at this. The town feels so alive now that the villagers are just roaming around here in the little farmer's market. Over here in the wool generator of amazingness. I got so much wool in there. I got to go ahead and check it out. That llama just hanging out right now uh, somebody told me if i change their outfit to a gray one they might look like a bandit let me, let me check this out let me go upstairs real quick inside the door into the gray section i think this is the gray section where's my gray oh okay i don't know if it's gray or light gray so i'm gonna take both there's gray that's a lot of gray thank you that's a lot of brown i gotta change the floor give me a second yoink got excited i took a little bit too much brown boom 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 oh beautiful let me just test gray out by itself and not light gray Hello, just pass it through. Woo, parkour. That wasn't really parkour. I just felt him. Oh, I kept going. Hold on. Yes, he's a bandit. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Kind of looks like Batman a little bit. Maybe he's not a bandit. Maybe he's Batman. Maybe he's Llama Bat. I don't even know, but it looks amazing. Definitely a... um. It looks like they robbed some kind of stagecoach or something, maybe like a train or so. I don't even know. I'm going to get out of here before something bad happens. Deputy Chody, so how you doing? Oh, man, nice to see you. Hopefully you're having a great day. Would you like some to, to eat here? Have a carrot. Jalapeno, what's up, my friend? Let's go ahead and take a walk around town for a little while. Come on down. Come on down, Jalapeno. I got to bring Bubbles over. I'll probably bring her later in this episode. Come on down. Let's go for a little walk in town. Let me show you the new spots we built. I wanted to build something right next to the Undertaker Tombstone Salesman. A lot of people say sausage. Don't build what you think you were going to build. Don't build a, a bakery in here. It's kind of weird. Why you have a bakery? Why are you selling baked goods next to a technically a little mortuary section? What, what's wrong with you? Isn't that weird? Isn't that nasty? Yes. And I built it right here. <laughs> Check out my little bakery. Oh, that's awesome. They sell meat pies. And here's our head baker. What's going on? How you doing? Go on in. Go on. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's okay. I'm going in. Go, it's okay. Go on in. What do you guys think? It's so cute, right? It's tiny. It's right here next to uh, the little mortuary undertaker's section. Oh, uh, don't close the door on my face. That's not how you greet customers. Jalapeno, come in here. Tell this guy what's going on. So we got some baked goods right here. Look at that. We got some bread. We got some cookies. Uh, we got some cake and some honey in here and everything uh sell me something i don't have any of that uh thank you anyways i'll be seeing you goodbye also we have this little section over here that i haven't built up yet but a lot of people were saying to build a flower shop it's perfect for the cemetery that i'm gonna build today also we're building a church 
Right back there. Let me show you the outline. But before I even show you the outline, did you notice something different? Yes, a bridge. <laughs> Check this out. I added another bridge. So we had this original one over there last time, but I added this little curvy boy. And it looks kind of cool right here with a little bit of spruce. And it looks awesome. Some barrels, some buttons, some lighting. I like the curve right here. A very subtle curve, right? We got trapdoors, slabs, and full blocks going around in a little curve. And it looks nice. <laughs> what do you guys think? Jalapeno likes it. You're the best. But in this episode, I laid it all out. This is going to be our church. What do you guys think of this outline? I don't want to make it too big, and I think this spot is just perfect on the other side of this bridge. This whole big old area. So, the church is going to be here. It's going to be a little entrance. It's going to be a little tower here. We're going to have big old windows in every single middle point section over here. I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to have like a little pop-out area, a little more detail on the outside. We'll see. But for now, I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, back here, we can have the little altar. We can have all the pews here on the side, which is going to be pretty cool. And then over here, I haven't set that up yet, but I want to attach a little cemetery right on the back side right on the corner here and kind of wall it off and we can have all the tombstones and stuff that we get from that spot over here on this end it's not gonna be too big but oh rip we make a tombstone for that squid uh but i think this is gonna be a pretty cool outline though what do you guys think of that one but before we do that uh i gotta do a little bit more resource intensive collected because i want to do a mix of this lovely block that i use some of the bone block for this is some white concrete i gotta get a bunch more of this thing but i want to also use a little bit of diorite to to dirty this up i want to use a little bit of birch that's right unstripped birch to make it dirty i know i've always talked bad about it but it makes it look like a dirty ugly old block and i want to make this look ugly and, and messed up on the bottom so we're going to do that today as well but jalapeno is going to stay in this bed waiting for me right all right let me sit you down though okay let me put you back on the bed wait for me jalapeno i'll be right back Meow to you too. Now, before we do any of that amazing building, I need to do one more thing. I need to say hello to this guy because they've been stuck down here and I just wanted to introduce you to them. They, uh, they, they've been hanging out in this cart. Um, I don't know why, but you know what? They're very, very, very skilled miner. I'll let you know that right now. I'm gonna just leave them there for now. They've even got a job. But something very important that we need to do today. See this uh, helmet right here? Sorry, do you see this sombrero de salchicha right here? This thing is still diamond. I need to convert that into netherite, and we're doing that today. I'm going to go netherite hunting, and I don't even want to hear anything else about it. Ah, oh, Roof of the Nether, I love you so much. I got to come back here and do a little bit more afk up there. I'll probably do that tonight. But you know what? Let's go downstairs. Now, I don't have a spot over here for digging out netherite. I have that closer to uh, my other base, but I think we can come up with a good spot here so we can have at least two areas. All right, I dug down all the way to 16, and I'm just going to dig a little bit. I know I can use a bunch of beds. I can try to get a little bit of TNT, but I find doing it like this in little strips does the trick. And you know what? This pickaxe about to break, so I'm going to switch it. The pirate pick, baby. Let's go. So I'm going to dig a little bit. Hopefully, we find a little something. I'll bring you guys back if we do. Please, please, please. All I need, I think... Is maybe four bits because I do have some back at home in the island that we can go ahead and use that too. But let's see what we could get. Oh, quartz. Oh no, we got a friend. Oh, yes, finally. Oh, baby. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, God. Get out of here. Where'd it go? Oh, we got one. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I do need all this gravel, though. Pickaxe is about to die. Oh, no. Yes, more. Oh, we got two more. Let's go. One and two. Very nice. Three total. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think this might do it. I think this is it. We should have enough. You know what? With four right here, I think it's perfect. We got a couple more back home. I think this is it. Also, in the last episode, we found the stronghold. It was beautifully placed in the middle of the ocean, all exposed, begging to be built up and transformed. So I'm thinking about doing that very very soon also fighting the dragon maybe before episode 25 maybe after episode 25 let me know in the comment section before episode 25 or after episode 25 i'm gonna be doing a world tour on that day so we do it before or after let me know in the comments i gotta do some repairing of these two pickaxes but before we even do any of that let's head back over to the isla de la salchicha and get our other two bits of the ancient debris make that into netherite and finally make this sombrero a beautiful purple shiny thing hello spider canyon resident let's duck on in say hi to our friends look at all these boats i leave behind you know what i'm gonna take some of those out let me do it now before i forget get out of here boat wrecked bye bye boat destroyed Oh, man, let me check out my bees. What's up, bee friends? How you guys doing? Oh, there you are. Hello. Uh, would you like to make a baby? Hold on. Those are aesthetic flowers in there. I got to get the 
the outside flower. Hello, pirate. Lovely day we're having. Man, I gotta come back here and finish this project board up. We're gonna do this whole thing. These three, the fortress, the blacksmith, and the iron farm, all in the fortress. Let me know when you guys want to see that fortress coming. I'm thinking maybe the next couple episodes we do a couple more builds over there in Spider Canyon and come on down and do some stuff. Do some work over here. What's up, cream cat? What's up, Bob? Bubbles! Oh, look at her still looking out into the distance. She was actually watching me coming in. What's up, girl? Are you ready to go to Spider Canyon? Go for a little ride over there? Yes, today Bubbles is going to the western town. That's right. She's going to go take a look. She's been wanting to look out for that place for the longest time. But before we do that, uh, let me make bee babies. Oh, there you go. Hi, bees. Here. Bee baby time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I have my uh, particles off. It's fine. Let's be babies. Now, I like a little bit of honey. That's all right. Thank you so much. Oh, there's my netherite scrap. Very pretty. I'm not going to need all of this, but uh, you know what? Why am I using super slug? Eh, whatever. Oh, here it is. Hello, smithing table. Oh, here it is. Bo oh, hold on. Bam. Bam. You guys ready? Here it is. Sombrero. Then Sanchicha. Upgraded beautifully. Now, we're done. I'm so good at this game. Go ahead and see if we can find some gravel. There it is. Let me take all that gravel. I need some sand. Where's my sand? There it is. Take all my sand. Let's go. Uh, 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 but, oh, uh, boat. Just uh, let me put the boat there for now. Now, let's head back home. I'm going to convert some of those bone blocks into white dye. And we're going to go ahead and do some stuff with it. We're going to make some white concrete. That's right, Bubble. Let's go. Come on into the boat, girl. Let me throw you in here real fast. That's fine. I got you. Don't worry. Don't be scared. It's fine. It's just a boat. Okay, go. Um, Into the boat. That's right. There she goes. Oh, look. She's moving the boat by herself. <laughs> nice. All right, Bubbles. Let's head on out, girl. Over to Spider Canyon. Bubbles' first time there. Oh, this is going to be great. There it is. Bubbles, welcome to Spider Canyon. Come on down. Hopefully the western music in the background is blowing up. Oh, let's do it. Bubbles, let me give you a little bit of a tour of the place. This right here is a nice spot. This is what I built first, right? This is Spider Canyon's first little XP spider farm. It's fantastic. It has villagers down there. It's a good time. Over here, this is my little wagon. We came in here for the first time and built a little wagon. Look how cute. She loves it. Don't eat that guy. Yeah, don't worry about him. Uh, over here, this is our, our pub slash tavern slash saloon. Uh, stay out of there. Bunch of ruffians hang out there all the time this is our sheriff station jalapeno is uh, in charge right now we have a second in command deputy chorizo uh i don't trust him that much but he seems like an okay guy this right here is a little farmer's market bubbles look at this little farmer's market is great you can get all your vegetables your watermelon you can get some cake you can get some pumpkins uh this is a bouncer uh, for this area. Bubba is one of my favorite bills right here. This is where I get all my wool. Don't eat the sheep. Everything's great. Oh, he's going to go eat the sheep. No, you're not. Okay, good. Little water tower there, Bubbles. Stay away from this side as well. This is where we get our coffins made and stuff like that. And this is the bakery. We get some meat pies for you, okay? You hang out here in the bakery. I know this is going to be your spot. You're going to be there all the time because you're always hungry. Uh, she's not hungry right now. But come with me, Bubbles. We're going to do a little bit of building today. We're going to jump over here and make our church finally. And I just can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Hang out right there. Actually, no. Let me let me introduce you to my friend, Jalapeno. Do you ever meet Jalapeno? They didn't have their name Jalapeno when they were in the island, but hi. You guys be um, uh, best friends. I'll be back. Let me build some stuff. Oh, that's more than enough. Uh, this is way too much. I don't even need this much. Um, that's good for now. <laughs> now let's get to building. So I'm thinking the best way to do this is to do it in stages. So I'm going to go ahead and just lift this up. I think the best way to set up the white concrete right now, instead of making it white concrete, I know it's white concrete powder now. I'm going to lay it all down. I'm going to put little walls to go all the way around. And then I'm just going to wet it. I'm going to just throw water on it. It's easier than placing it down and breaking it again and then placing it all over again. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just raise this white concrete powder. I'm not sure how tall. Let's just see. Let's just do a little ring around first. I think this is a good height right here. So I'm just wetting the sides and let to pour down and everything is converting into this lovely thing check that out the windows are taking shape right here so i decided to go for a too high window and a little bit of strip spruce on the top and the bottom and that looks pretty cool i'm gonna get rid of these right here for now and we're gonna replace those in a second with some smooth uh, quartz and smooth quartz stairs that's right it's gonna look fancy at the bottom but we're gonna break it up and it's gonna look really really nice at the end so it's gonna look like this so that looks cool now next up i want to add some more wood trim so i'm going with uh just some spruce upside down stairs there at the top and we can put some flowers and stuff like that i think that might be pretty good 
we might change it. We'll see. So I want to make it look a little dirtier. So we're going with some brown windows. And that looks awesome. It looks like the sand kind of like pushed up against it. It used to look white. So that looks awesome. Then I'm going to put some fence gates in the uh, top part of the window like this. It's almost nighttime. Then I'm going to grab some campfire blocks. We're going to place these on top just like so. We're going to extinguish those. There we go. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to grab some trap doors. And we're going to put these on the side bit. So both sides like that. So we're dressing up this place. So it just, just look all white and clean. So we got that look. Then the next thing we're going to do is put some stairs here. Because this is where the roof is going to go. I messed that one up. But we're going to continue it all the way to the end. And not like that. We're going to also make it daytime. This is uh, not fun. This is looking pretty cool so far. So also, I added this little entrance here. I want to make it uh, almost like a little wood extension on this because it was so white. And I kind of like this little add-on to it. And I think I might do some more stuff like that here on the top of uh, this little tower. But I added a window here, the same as we have here on the sides. I still got to add the trapdoors. I'll add that later. But everything's looking pretty cool. But it looks too clean. Look at that. It looks way too clean. So I'm going to go on the inside really quick. Oh, and this thing. I added a little bit of granite. I think it looks cool. It gives a little bit of a contrast change. It looks pretty cool. But on the inside, it looks way too clean. So I'm going to go in here and do a a little bit of dirtying up this thing this is something that you know it might be frowned upon in certain you know cultures of, of minecraft but this diorite when you compare it and add it to other white blocks like this like the white concrete powder or even the bone block or even the uh unstripped birch yeah that's right uh it's it's pretty cool because it gives you that uh that texture that texture change it's a little dirtier it doesn't look as clean so if you want to dirtify is that a word it is not if you want to dirtify just like prettify is a word that's my word uh dirtify is also my word copyright infringement i'm gonna totally trademark that be careful uh but no i'm not but it, it makes it look a little bit cooler just to make it look a little dirtier so I'm going to keep most of this towards the bottom. Every once in a while, I'll pop up some on the tippy top, but mostly on the bottom. Uh, and I think it'll look pretty cool. On top of that, look what else we could do. I know this might look a little weird, but watch this. Throw some of that, that birch. So I don't... I don't like this one. Hold on. Maybe like that. See how dirty that looks in combination with the diorite and the white? That looks like it's literally just dirty white blocks. I like it. Let me make a daytime and continue that. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I like this little roof style. It's simple. Just a straight up and down pattern. A little bit of detail here at the top. And I made a little cross right there in the center, which looks awesome. I was going to just do a bigger window, but I think a cross window makes a lot of sense to make this church look like a church. Get out of here, skeleton. Bubbles with chow, jalapeno, I got this. Don't you worry. Be careful. This guy's shooting arrows. He's dead. But also, look at the texturing. I got a little bit of the quartz, the smooth quartz in there. The birch is in there. Uh, and it is looking awesome. Diorite is in there too. A little bit of the polish, the regular one. It looks nice and uh, dirtified. And I love it. Look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. So I just got to do this thing on the other side and continue that roof. I'm thinking just spruce for now from one side to the other. And then we'll figure out what to do with this tower. The roof is up. It's in place and it's looking perfect. I don't think we need to do any windows or anything like that. On the top i want to do a lot of detail work on the bottom with a bunch of beams and um they're just hanging out waiting for the church uh, to be finished okay it's fine now for this tower uh, i got an idea i'm thinking about bringing some stairs here of our spruce and give a little bit of a lining around here with this thing then in between the stairs i'm going to be placing a little bit of slab action all the way around like this on the top part here, I want to change the texturing up. I want to put some barrels going all the way around here. So there's going to be more like a wood top feel to it. And then to add another little bit of layering, I'm going to put another slab. But I'm going to put it on the top part of the barrel so we still get the little lining in between. And this looks really cool. Composters might even look good. Even looms here might look awesome in this little bottom section. But I think the barrel might just do the trick. Then over here, I'm going to put a little bell in the middle. So I'm going to take some of these lovelies up here. So we're going to strip them also. I'm going to do this on all the corner bits. And I'm going to strip all of them and here at the bottom i'm just gonna place just some slabs on not that one but slabs oh i ran out of slabs so i'm gonna put slabs on the corner bits and then trap doors in these little gaps right there at the bottom up here we're gonna do our nice little typical little upside down stair that's not a stair little upside down stair trick right there and we'll put that lovely old bell in the middle i think i have an extra one somewhere if anything we'll get the one that's all the way over there in the front it's gonna cover up this floor because we're really not gonna be going up here it's not gonna be a functional tower it's just gonna look good little aesthetic tower is my favorite kind of tower as the sun is rising on a brand new day check that out right there now that is a nice little bell tower there oh, i love that i had a little cross there at the top as well it looks really really good added a little granite wall with some spruce fences a fence gate and a little flower pot at the top uh, the flower pot just seals it but i love it I love it. This is coming together so nicely. And it gives you almost like a little bit of a Spanish style too. Uh, I, I definitely got some concept art online of Spanish style uh, churches, Wild West churches. And I made it my own though. I think it looks really, really cool. I got to add some flowers here on the outside. Still, we got to do a little tiny cemetery on the outside big corner. But on the inside, 
check this out. So this is what I got in mind. I want to put some dark oak beams here. Perfect color contrast. A little bit of dark with the light in the background. And I got a good idea. Watch this. So uh, we got beams every three, right? Separated the same way we're separating on the outside with the stairs and the blocks there, right? But over here, I want to do some archways that go like this with the dark oak. And it looks a lot cooler like this maybe some archways there in the corner going around like this and i think this might actually look really really good and give us some more detail some more depth from the inside so this is kind of like a flat wall on the outside edge right look at that something like this definitely looks cool i might even add some trapdoors going down i'm not sure yet i'm not sold on that yet but i think this is looking good i just gotta do it over here on this side so just like that, it is taking shape. Now, for this tower, it's going to be just aesthetic. So I'm thinking about cutting it off pretty much like right at the edge here. Not sure how to do it yet. Maybe just with some slabs going down, probably. Or maybe even just full blocks, because I want to maybe take this up a little taller. We'll figure that out. Just an aesthetic bell tower. Then on the top, I'm thinking about putting some barrels in the center bits. And maybe hanging down some chandeliers. I think that might look pretty good. Maybe in the edges here we put some fences. And then we got to figure out where we're going to put the pews. I'm thinking about... For now, let's just do dark oak. But we can go... If we have like a middle line, which is right here. We could definitely do like a 1, 2, 3 and a 1, 2, 3. And just take it down like this. And then we still have space on each side to walk down the aisles here. Also, I want to put some brewing stands. I want to put a lectern, bring some clerics in here and make it look awesome. Back here, we can have like a little uh, area as well. Uh, we could continue the pews even all the way going to the back. It's big reveal time officially the next morning. And I got some cool stuff to show you guys. Check this out. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. The Church of Sausage is born bam let's go let's take a look and it's got, we got some villagers inside which is really awesome as well i gotta still do some more detail work here we gotta do some path blockage i mean we'll, we'll do that let me do it real fast little path blockage that goes up here into the church curves around and we also got ourselves a little cemetery back here which is awesome bubbles and jalapeno are making sure that no uh ghosts are spawning as well they're like um they're like ghost hunters it's great it's gonna be a brand new tv show coming on uh hulu or something but check this out this is looking really really awesome i'm thinking about putting something on top of these iron bars but i'm not sure yet for now i think it looks pretty good but we're definitely going to be curving this path out going out this direction and then this is also going to be going into the mines area which is cool but look at this this is awesome we got little grave sites right here which is cool we got some crosses here what are you guys doing what's up that's the priest of the altar board right there hanging out but right here we got an open grave too somebody's been stealing uh from this area i gotta figure out who's doing it i'll put uh jalapeno on the case because i know deputy chorizo is probably the one doing it. i don't even know but what do you guys think it's a cool little graveyard, right? It's small, but I think it does the trick. The entrance is right here in the center, and it's looking pretty awesome. But let's go on the inside. Let me show you the finished church. But let me do a little path first. Hold on. Perfect. Now let's go on in. Bam. Look at this right here. This is cool. Check that out. Oh, and I love the front right there. I, uh, I made the floor into granite and brick, just like we had here. So it kept up with the same themes. On the side here, we have some item frames, which looks really, really cool. Looks like candles. I'm missing a few, but that's fine. I still need to kill some more cows. That's perfect. But watch this. This is cool. It's a little elevated platform out of spruce. We got their chairs on each side right there. And that's our head priest. That's our head altar boy. What's going on? We got some brewing stands here, and I think it's time for them to go outside. Right? No? You still doing? What is mass? At what time is mass? Let me know. I'll come back. But this is looking so cool. I love the little centerpiece here as well. We got sea pickles for candles. We got the bushes here on the side. Originally, I wanted to put composters here, but we're going to be making so many farmers in here. I was like, nah, let's just make some simple uh, beat making machines right here. Look, let's take the church choir right here. Let's go. Church beat box. <laughs> church beat box. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. But what do you guys think of the church? We need a name for it. Let me know in the comment section. What should we call this church? Besides the church of sausage, give me something else. Uh, if anything, they're just church of sausage is perfect. I don't know. But also, got to add a lot more details here, like some bushes here on the side. I think will look pretty cool. Maybe kind of wrapped around here on the corner. Add a little bit more overgrown. But as far as the church, it is done. And it's looking really, really cool here in Spider Canyon. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's like the perfect addition. But for right now, I think we're good to go. Let's get out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Should we keep building here in this area? Should we go back to the island and start the fortress? Let me know in the comment section. For right now, though, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Look at that. They're doing some stuff. Oh, let me go tell the whole village to go on in there. <laughs> see you guys later. Goodbye.